Now, Steve showed you how to rig this lure. I'll show you what to do with it when you get it into the water. Now, we have to cast it out, which I'll do. Just open the bail arm and just cast him out. Now, once I've cast the squidgy out, I just let that swim down to the bottom with no weight on it. I just let it swim. And you'll see when your lure's got to the bottom because your line will just relax. Watch the line where it goes into the water. You'll see it relax. Once it does that, we just want to lift that lure up about three feet lift him up with the rod tip and then just watch it so that it goes down again and then we lift him up again so what actually happens is your lure swims up off the bottom gets to about three feet high meter then it swims back down to the bottom now somewhere along there while we're doing that hopefully a flathead will come along and grab that lure and when he does we'll see the line jerk the line will actually twitch or jerk if the fish grabs it while we're actually swimming it up you'll feel him on and if he grabs it while it's swimming down, you'll see the line jerk. Now, when that happens, you don't even have to be in a hurry to strike with a squidgy because it feels so natural, that fish is going to hang on to it. So when your line jerks, just think, OK, there's a flathead on the end of there, and then yank, stick the hook into him. Well, hopefully, we'll show you how that works. Right now. <laughs> I got one too bushy. <laughs> <laughs> not, monsters, nah. not bad, Flathead, sure, though. Not bad, though. You'd be happy if you were after a feed. We're letting them go, but they're nice eating size, Flathead. Oh, how much fun's that? Look at that. Just pinned through the top jaw. Same with yours? No, mine's just oh, woofed it. Oh, he woofed it down, didn't he? <laughs> I'll get him out. They might only be little ones. I reckon we'll get a bigger one later, don't you worry. But how good's this? These things really work, these squidgies. You have to trust us. Yep. Might be a bit better. Going all right, this one. Oh, yeah, nice fish. Nice. Slip the Enviro net under him. That's not a bad flathead at all. That's getting a little bit more like it. Well, it looks like we've picked the right combination of jig head and colour and tail. We're using these number three squidgy fish tails in the uh, black gold and the Gary glitter colour, which is great. But there is more than one way to skin a cat or catch a flathead. And I'm going to get Bushy to run you through a few other techniques while I pop this bloke back in the water, because I reckon we're going to catch him on the wriggler tails and also whipping with a shad. Interesting stuff. Off you go, mate.